Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift, we're featuring Dr. Brian Beisman. He specializes in cosmetic and reconstructive eyelid and facial surgery and minimally invasive rejuvenation techniques, including injectables and technology-based solutions. Dr. Beisman is an internationally recognized authority on non-invasive body contouring techniques, such as cool sculpting for the elimination of unwanted fat. He serves as a clinical assistant professor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee, Division of Ophthalmology, Dermatology, and Otolaryngology. Today, he joins me to chat latest trends in facial and eyelid surgeries, how carboxytherapy is revolutionizing the skincare industry, and how you can even get a home medical-grade skincare treatment without breaking the bank. Welcoming now to the show is our expert of the week, Dr. Brian Beisman. Welcome to the show, superstar. Thanks, Anne. Great to see you. All right, let's dive right in. So congrats on all of your many accolades and accomplishments. The universe has a very well thought out way of connecting people for full circle. So nice to finally meet you in person, like 20 years in the making. Right, exactly. (laughs) So let's jump right into your incredible field. So can you tell us about the latest trends in facial and eyelid surgeries that you've observed in the field of cosmetic and reconstructive surgery? Over the years, so my focus really is on aesthetics. I'm going to talk mostly about aesthetic rather than reconstructive, uh, although every reconstructive procedure really is aesthetic. Let's focus on the aesthetic. So there has been uh, a real shift over the last years, which is continuing and I think growing uh, in really preserving one's, if you will, natural look for many, many years, decades even, it was very clear when someone had had surgery that was supposed to help make you look better or more youthful, but in reality, it made you look different. So now the emphasis is on how do we preserve and how do we restore rather than making people just look like they've had surgery. I love that. Keeping true to the roots of the human ethos and who that person is from the beginning, not trying to trying to transform their face like many, many plastic surgeons do. Now, many people are interested, as am I, in non-invasive rejuvenation techniques. Now, what are some popular technology-based solutions that you find effective in achieving these desired results that everybody is looking for? Great question. So are we going to focus on just eyelids? Let's talk about the the face and neck, because that's where people often see changes. So there's a few things that we need to think about, Zen. We need to think about skin quality in terms of color and wrinkling. So we have devices that can help improve skin color, uh, such as brown and red discoloration, really without much in the way of downtime. If we're going to smooth wrinkles, that's going to have anywhere from a couple days to probably a week of downtime. We can do non-invasive skin tightening with devices that have an FDA indication for lifting, If someone says, I want this, they need surgery. If someone says, I just want to look like a little bit better version of myself, or I like the way I look, but I want to look the same in 10 years, then we talk to them about devices that will help enhance things a bit and preserve them moving forward. And it's extremely important to enhance and preserve rather than to remodel and reconstruct, because then you get into a whole other, you know, Pandora's box. Now, Coming back to a trend that was uh, one of the biggest Google trends of 2023 coming into 2024 is carboxytherapy. It has many proprietary uses. And with this non-invasive procedure involving the therapeutic use of carbon dioxide for skin regeneration, we are really seeing some incredible results. And when infused into the skin, CO2 immediately diffuses at the cutaneous and muscular you know, microcirculatory levels. So there's a science behind it. And of course, this results in higher tissue oxygenation and neoangiogenesis. And of course, when you look at the science and most millennials look at the science, I, I see this particular CO2 lift product, the blood, I've used it on myself 
and the blood vessels widen. This increases the transport of oxygen body tissues for cellular regeneration and anti-inflammatory effects. And in fact, it's been a treatment that has been around since the 1930s, but now there's a new method of delivery that's improved since then with this gel delivery system called CO2 lift. We had Dr. Hoyos compare it to a hyperbaric uh, after open flap surgery, and he is the author of Liposculpture. So carboxytherapy, Dr. Beisman, seems to be making these waves in the skincare industry. How does it work in a, in a medical explanation, and what benefits does it offer for individuals looking to enhance their skin? So Zen, you're quite the scientist. I'm impressed. <laughs> the basic idea is that most of us know that if our oxygen levels are low, our CO2 levels are high, that our bodies are going to ask for more oxygen. We're going to send more oxygen to that area. So the whole idea behind this CO2 lift uh, concept is to not actually deprive our tissues of oxygen, is to keep our tissue oxygen normal, but to fool our bodies into thinking that, hey, wait a minute, there's too much CO2 here. We got to send more. So you actually are supercharging the area with oxygen. You get increased blood flow, as you suggested. And this actually is incredibly hydrating and really has a lot more benefits than we might have thought a topical product could have. And this is an important distinction. In the past, carboxytherapy is something which has been actually infused into the skin through a needle or through some other more invasive means. We're talking now about something which is applied topically to the skin. It's a gel like a mask. You apply it, you leave it in place for about 45 to 60 minutes. And when you take it away, it's like a big reveal. It's really remarkable. Uh, this is how I actually first discovered, I didn't discover it. When I first saw it, it took about 10 seconds to realize that this was something truly remarkable in what it does with totally non-invasive, no risk, no recovery time, and I don't even have an interest in the product. It's just crazy how remarkably well it works. It's true. And you are a scientist before anything else. Clearly, we can see that. But as the first account to offer CO2 Lift Pro in the Nashville market, what was it, what was it that drew you to the product as an early adopter? So I'll tell you the story. And there's a story here. So the first time that I ever met this product, I'd never heard of it. We were doing, we do an annual medical conference in Nashville. I'm the co-chair. Last year, we had about 1,400 people. We're going into our 19th year this year. So this was in maybe 2016, I think. Um, we're in the process of doing some lab demonstrations. And they said, hey, someone wants to demonstrate this new thing. Do you care? Sure. And they bring this patient in. And I'll be kind and say she did not look great. She was wrinkled and she was looked really rough. And they said, we're just going to put this thing on her face. We're going to leave her to, and this woman literally lay down on the floor for 45 minutes while I did some injections. And then in the remaining couple minutes, they said, here, we're just going to pull this mask off and we want you to take a look. They took the CO2 lift mask off and this woman looked unbelievable. Like there is no way that that is the same person who you put that mask on 45 minutes ago. And that's all it took for me to be convinced. At, at that point, I then became the first account to sell it in Nashville. They, it wasn't, um, wasn't carried here yet. The meeting is in Nashville and they traveled in to show the, uh, at this meeting this lift, but I'd, I'd never seen it before. Wow. Well, you are quite the celebrity. I'm I'm in the presence of somebody who discovered a gold mine because uh, I what, wish I'd discovered it. I just happened to be the first person. I mean, I saw it at a meeting and then I said, oh, my God. And then I got a bunch of people who were some local folks and some influencers picked it up. And then it, it started really getting traction. But it, it was really a cool minute, I have to say. Well, you were onto something. You know, I mean, look, you are at the at the forefront of every technological discovery. So it would be logical that you discovered 
and you were one of the early adopters of this product because CO2 Lift since then has proven to be such a valuable addition to most laser protocols, especially for patients with acneic skin and targeted skincare solutions like carboxytherapy, we know now can enhance overall results and the product has such a proprietary and unique ability to promote skin reju rejuvenation and address acne concerns that it really kind of micro blankets all of the the not just, you know, Caucasian skin issues, but also African American skin issues where you have the micropigmentation and you have the, you know, hyperpigmentation and you have a whole bunch of uh, other skincare protocols that need to be in effect for skin of color. And this does address it. And they have this incredible uh, vaginal rejuvenation system. That's pretty, pretty intriguing. Now, uh, moving on to the intriguing aspect of perhaps the possibility of getting skincare treatments at home. Can you elaborate on how carboxy therapy can be applied at home and what results people should expect? I mean, you just gave a great endorsement about a woman in front of your, in front of your eyes transforming, but what is the process at home? So it's actually a very easy process to use, almost ridiculously so. Um, as I mentioned, it's a gel. You have to mix it up and you apply it. When you apply it, here's probably the hardest thing about it. It's painless, doesn't have any discomfort. It's easy, 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 but here's the hard part. You really have to stay still for a good 45 to 60 minutes if you're going to get the benefit from a treatment. Uh, and if you want the benefit on your eyelids, that means you really can't be on your phone. You just got to go to your, your happy place, close your eyes, relax, and let the, the product uh, work. When you remove it, it, it really is neat to see. There's no real messy after effects or anything. And there's uh, no certainly no downtime, no discomfort, nothing difficult. But being still is the bigger challenge. Certainly is a challenge for me, but it is uh, it is important. Well, you said it. You should be the poster child for CO2 Lift Pro because, to your point, it's the strongest version uh, of carboxy gel. And uh, aside from it being available to aesthetic and medical providers like yourself, uh, to your point, it's an at-home at treatment yeah. that delivers the CO2 cutaneously over 45 minutes to an hour and sitting still is on point. I've done this myself. You can't keep moving because it's not going to actually penetrate and, and deliver what it needs to be delivering if you are, you know, sweating and working a, a working it up but this it's a transdermal non-invasive facial mask essentially and mm -hmm. and and pr practitioners like yourself doctors the surgeons experts like yourself they recommend it for post procedure care after invasive procedures such as needling or laser or whatnot but i had breast explant surgery not long ago about a month ago uh and i had it uh done in jupiter floor with dr david rankin and i started using co2 lift pro on my wounds, on my open wounds. And boy, have I seen a huge, huge difference. There's no itchiness, there's no dryness, clean incisions, it's coming along nicely. So yes, to your point, this is this is a great product. Now, let's moving on, move on to considering your role as a key opinion leader in medical and surgical aesthetics, which you, which you do so gracefully, uh, as well as a clinical assistant professor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. How do you incorporate research and teaching to stay at the forefront of such a rapidly evolving field? This field changes so much, as you just said, Zen. Probably since we've started this interview, something new has come up or some new idea has come across my email or whatever. And so you have to be used to uh, sorting through a lot of information and like CO2 lift, sometimes you're really shocked by something and something will grab your attention and you'll know immediately this is something really interesting. If it weren't for the research where I'm always doing projects and I'm doing a lot of consulting and I'm hearing companies get you, they wanted you to invest, they want you to hear their story, so forth. You see so much and hear so much that you really do get a good sense for what's legit and what's not. Now, when we talk about um, advice for individuals considering cosmetic procedures for the first time, it's their first time, they they don't know what they're getting their, themselves involved in. Are there any key considerations or even misconceptions that you'd want to address? That's a great question and such an important one. No matter what age you are, if you're just thinking about doing this, first, 
do your homework. Um, the traditional way that physicians get recognized for their expertise is by the contributions they make to the field, by doing research, by peer recognition. And it's important before you let anyone do anything that you actually feel that that person is on the same page you are, that you trust them, and then let them be their, your guide. I don't try to tell my attorney how to write a contract or my accountant how to do my taxes. You need to find someone who you feel you can relate to, who listens to you, who understands you, who you trust, because there can be a lot of different ways to do things. What you need is someone who will hear your concerns, listen to what you'd like to accomplish, explain to you how they think you can get there, and then see if what they deliver is what they led you to expect. That seems to be the really the best way. And the last thing, you have to be able to commit yourself to being treated by one person over a period of time. If you're going from place A to B to C to D, you'll get a mishmash of everyone's ideas and usually it does not work well. You said it. You can't be playing the field with providers. You just can't. Now, you're a recognized authority in aesthetics and you're in your 19th year of co-directing the Music City Scale Meeting, bringing aesthetic providers together for education on a myriad of topics. Could you highlight any exciting developments on the horizon in the field of medical and surgical aesthetic surgery that we can look forward to this coming year? Yeah, so there's a lot of really cool topics. And there's so many, there's no way that we have time and, and the, this format to go into it all, but there are some really cool, exciting things. There is a laser resurfacing treatment, and again, carboxytherapy actually can be used in conjunction with it. Um, but there is a laser resurfacing treatment called ultra clear resurfacing, which has been one of probably the maybe four real revolutionary changes in uh, my career over 30 years. It's been, this is like the finishing the second year of working with this and like carboxytherapy, we're starting to see more and more applications, but I can treat patients with any skin type. I can treat scarring. I can treat fine wrinkles. I can treat deep wrinkles. It's really a remarkable treatment. We're hearing more and more about that particular device. Again, it's called Ultra Clear. I'm personally really excited because it's just completely changed my resurfacing practice. Um, and there's always new injectable uh, treatments that we're learning. There's a really big emphasis now on being very mindful of how we use soft tissue fillers. And there's a lot of talk about people who have the puffy face and the overdone face and their face is out of balance and so forth. We put a really big emphasis on teaching people how to safely and effectively Produce rejuvenation without making people look puffy and weird. And I spend a lot of time reversing that look, but we really like to emphasize how do you avoid that in the first place? So those are a couple of highlights that I think are just really important because they help patients. Uh, and it's, it's really the high-end providers who really understand how to deliver these services and use them. At the end of the day, it really truly comes down to choosing the right practitioner, making sure that you're in the, you know, in the hands of somebody that's not just capable, that that is an expert at the forefront of research in their field, such as yourself, bringing me full circle to we are out of time. Thank you so much for coming on and chatting and being so open and transparent. And I love having a conversation with you. It was awesome, Zed. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's great uh, to speak with you and I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. That was our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. And that was Dr. Brian Beisman, founder of drbeisman.com. You can check him out on the gram at Dr. Beisman. Head to lumisk.com for all your skincare rejuvenation needs. And definitely check out co2lift.com. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. 
A Moment of Zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can reverse this aging process with CO2 Lift. CO2 Lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2 Lift lift.com.